Hi, I'm Simon, one of the trainers here at Logic for Training, and in this video, we're going to look at the exciting world of central heating and hot water design. This course is a two day course that will look at many aspects of heating systems, trying to understand particular concepts, trying to get a head round engineering principles that maybe you haven't had to think about before, even as an installer, which is becoming more and more important the more we want to get boilers to be more efficient and installing renewable heat sources like air source, ground source heat pumps. This qualification is also recognized by MCS to be able to get certified under their MIS 3005D standard. So this qualification is a prerequisite to getting yourself MCS certified for the design side of air source and ground source when it comes to hydronics, so the water bit. There's a lot to cover in this course. It's got many, many different aspects from engineering principles to mathematical principles to fluid dynamics, which is a lot to grasp, but it's become an essential part of the installer's skill set, really, to be able to know how to design a heating system correctly. Now, for boilers, very important because an efficient system enables an efficient boiler. If your system's not efficient or designed well, then a condensing boiler that yes is condensing out of the box, but it might be running in non-condensing mode for a very high percentage of its life. So system design is really important for that aspect. But for heat pumps, air source, ground source, exhaust air to water, any type of heat pump really that uses a hydronic system, the design of the central heating circuit is really essential to ensure you get the most efficiency out of that heat source. Now, one of the main reasons that it's an important understanding to have is because you could have a boiler that's branded as 94% efficient or an air source heat pump that's got a scop of 3.8 and it's definitely capable of doing that, but it's not plug and play. You don't just whack it in, turn it on, hope for the best, great stuff, you'll be all right, mate. It doesn't quite work like that. Got to make sure that system's designed well. Now on low temperature heat sources, we've got a much narrower delta T between the temperature of the emitters and the air temperature, much narrower. Whereas if you've got a high temperature heat source or a temperature that we're used to, maybe a boiler running at 70 degrees, the delta T from the surface panel of the rad is quite a lot wider than the air temperature. So you'll be able to get that heat out a lot quicker. So part of our design course looks at emitter sizing. Another part of it is flow rates. That's important. We've got to look at that. We've got to look at pipe sizing. We've got to consider velocities. We've got to consider pressure drops. We've got to consider heating circulator. What heating circulator do we buy? How do we work out the duty point? How do we set that? Why is it important? How do we then balance the system? So there's a lot of stuff on this two day course. It's my favorite course to train. I enjoy it a lot, um, but it's pretty intense. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you come along and sit it. So if you're interested, ring the customer service team, give them a call, get some dates off them, see how much it is, and hopefully we'll see you soon.